What's up guys? So welcome to this video. Basically this is an update video so I wanted to update you guys on what's going on. Injury update and introduce you guys to somebody new. If you follow me on Snapchat or Instagram you know what I'm talking about. Our new baby Brady and he is like trying to get into camera right now. What are you looking at? Hi say hello. Say hello. Where you going? Where you going? Yeah. Okay. You could try and see. I mean, I guess that works. So, that's our new family member. On Sunday, Matt and I went to Austin and we adopted him. So in Austin, the whole city had waived adoption fees. So we went to a shelter and ended up finding him or more so he found us. Who's that? Oh. What are you? Hi, baby. Hi. You want to go home? Brady, come on. Come on. No, 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 no. Get, get in the, in the car. Come on. <laughs> come on. Everybody ready to go home? <laughs> oh no. I got an extra box of Girl Scout cookies because there's a guy in the corner that we're gonna give it to. Um, because, yeah, pay it forward, guys. Do something nice for someone else today. I figured since I'm gonna have some extra time on hands, now, why not bring another friend into the family? I like to eat my breakfast too. Last week we've just been trying to adjust. He is getting used to everybody. Everybody's getting used to him. Him and Buzz aren't quite best friends yet. Um, they're they're still kind of feeling each other out, but it's like whenever you meet somebody new, you're not automatically best friends with most people. Yeah, they're still kind of getting used to each other, and I think they'll be BFFs pretty soon. They did kind of cuddle yesterday, and it was so cute. Um, the cats are pretty impartial about him. They stay out of his way. He stays out of their way for the most part. He's curious, but they don't really bother each other. That's kind of how cats are. They just do their own thing. We're really excited to have him in the family. He is so sweet. I wish you guys could cuddle with him. He is so affectionate and so loving. He follows us everywhere. Uh, he wants to sit in your lap. He wants to just be close to you, and he's so sweet. I'm going to push up against my butt. What are you doing? What are you doing? Can I film for a second? Can I film please? Please? So, funny story guys, as soon as I finished filming that clip with Brady pushing against my leg, I set the camera down and I didn't set it down properly enough. Lo and behold, it came tumbling down fell straight on the lens onto the stairs. The lens isn't broken, I think the camera itself works, but I can see that the lens is crooked. So part of the retractable part of the lens got mashed in. So I don't honestly know what I'm going to do about that. <laughs> I have my phone and an old, small, um, I think it's one of those Sony Tough cameras. It's one that you're supposed to be able to drop 
but it doesn't have the reverse lens so it's it's a lot harder for me to uh, film with decent quality with that because I can't tell where my face is but just wanted to update you guys on that I don't quite know what um, <laughs> how I'm gonna get the neck injury update to you guys it's either gonna be on my phone or on the other camera so if the quality isn't as good I'm sorry for that but I just wanted to throw this in there for you guys. I'm not necessarily having the best week <laughs> between my injury and the uh, whole camera fiasco. But we did get Brady out of it. So, you know, just staying positive. It could always be worse. It's just a camera. And yeah, I'm going to update you guys on my neck injury coming up. Uh, to be honest, I don't really know what my thoughts are past this point. In regards to the injury but I hope you guys are enjoying this little update and this footage is from the uh, we went out and walked on the trails that are seriously like two miles from our house we've never been out to them before and we went for the first time there's so many trails to explore so I'm so excited to keep taking the boys out for walks out here um, we did like a little mile loop when there's like probably 20 miles of trails out there so we can't wait to explore those more. It's currently raining, but hopefully the weather will be nice next week for us to go out on some hikes. So I will see you guys in just a second. So as you heard, I dropped my other camera, but I have my, it's an Olympus Tough camera. I've had it for several years. It's not the best as far as vlogging goes, but it'll get the job done until I can figure out what to do with my camera. So the lens is actually bent just slightly. The actual lens itself doesn't work. The camera doesn't detect it. So. We're gonna see if we can take it into a place in town. If not, I guess I'm going to have to get a new lens, which costs about the same as a new camera. So, cool, that's awesome. I wanted to update you guys on my neck. Last y'all had heard, uh, I had just gone through my injury um, and I was telling you guys how I was feeling and what I was planning to do about it. Well, I did go to the doctor last week. Uh, the pain was, was very, very bad and I just wanted to make sure that things were not terrible, that something wasn't terribly wrong. So I went and I had it x-rayed. The day of the x-ray, the doctor said everything looks good. You know, everything is spaced out well. I don't see any fractures. I don't see anything wrong. So you're good to go. So I got a call the next day from another nurse and they had sent the x-rays into a radiologist as they usually do just to make sure that the doctor doesn't miss something. Well, the doctor missed something and it turns out the radiologist said there is a, a non-displaced hairline fracture of my second vertebrae. So it's right up in here. To be sure, they recommended that I go get a CT scan, which would require me to go to the doctor to get an order to go get a CT scan. And all they would tell me is, yeah, it's a fracture. That's that. Not the best news. But definitely, I mean, not the worst. There's not as much pain. It's not as painful at night whenever I lay down. Any sudden movements or jumping or anything is definitely out of the question. I have to be careful whenever I drive because I can't turn my head too fast, but I think it's, it's healing. I just need to keep resting. So I have been doing very light cardio. I did some Stairmaster super slow and just watch YouTube. No pain there. Uh, walking is okay. Yeah, I'm just resting, you guys. I don't really know how long I'm going to have to rest. I might go to um, the doctor in a few weeks to maybe have it x-rayed again. I honestly don't want to go through the radiation of that. It'd probably refer me to a physical therapist. So my thought would be reaching out to a physical therapist in the, few, in the next few weeks, see what their thoughts are on it and what it might possibly cost to rehab it? I don't know. I honestly don't know. This is something that's completely new to me. I've never broken a bone. I've never fractured anything before. Just taking it one day and one week at a time. It, it is a little frustrating and disheartening to know that I have to take a good amount of time off, especially because things were going so well. I was loving my training. Everything was... I was already like looking at dates and ready to set a date for my powerlifting meet. Climbing training was going really well, and then this happens, but it it happens, guys. Whenever you're pushing yourself in sports and athletics, injuries are going to happen. Spinal fracture isn't something that you want necessarily as far as injuries go, but it could have been a lot worse. I've seen some broken bones at the rock gym. 
I would be interested if any of you guys that are watching this have had any type of fractures in, in your vertebrae. So comment below if you have. If so, how long did you have to rest? <laughs> I'm just gonna keep doing cardio. I talked to my coach about it and that's that. I, I don't have any other updates as far as my program goes. Of course, I'm not lifting right now. I'm just tracking my macros. I do wanna be more consistent with that just because I don't want to use this time as an excuse to give up on any goals whatsoever. So just gonna take this time and focus on YouTube videos. If you guys have any topic or content requests, definitely leave them below. I'm gonna have a little more free time on my hands aside from what this guy takes up. So that's the update. Yeah, I'm, I'm hanging in there. I'm, I'm doing just fine, guys. I'm doing absolutely fine. I'm a little, little disheartened to be honest, and I'm sure I'll post videos in the future of being frustrated about having to rest, but it happens. It happens to everybody. It happens to the best of them. So yeah, thank you guys for tuning into this update. I really hope you guys are having a great day. I hope y'all are staying safe in your current activities, whatever you choose to do. Go and do some squats for me. I would love, I would love that. Yeah, love you guys, and I will see y'all very soon.